this has been a difficult two years. There will be difficult days ahead. But let us always remember the lesson of this day and the lesson of history that we as a people do not shrink from a challenge, we overcome it. We don't shrink from our responsibilities, we embrace it, we don't fear the future, we shape the future. That's what we do, that's who we are, that makes us the United States of America. President Obama on a roll speaking to staffers after signing the health care reform bill into law today. He praised the Democrats for not shrinking from their responsibility to bring change. He got health care done with a, without, without a single Republican vote in history is going to remember that. But this was still a tough vote for the House Democrats, and the president told them that on Saturday, that good policy is good politics, and that voters would respect them for standing up for what they believe in. Well, a new poll, since the Republicans love polls, new poll out tonight suggests that the president was spot on. USA Today Gallup poll people after reform passed the House. 49% of the people say it was a good thing, while 40% said it was a bad thing. Joining me now is Maryland Congressman Chris Van Hollen. He's the chairman of the DCCC and assistant to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Congressman, congratulations. Uh, Ed, it's gr great to be with you on this historic day. It certainly is. And you were up on uh, in that room, and it had to be quite a feeling to, to see that unfold and, and to have this actually happen. But, of course, the Republicans are saying it's Armageddon, and John McCain says there'll be no cooperation. What's the memo say on your desk to the people who are running for office on the Democratic ticket? Well, two things are going to happen immediately. The first of all, the American people are, are going to see right away that they were misled and that they were fed a bunch of fear-mongering scares tactics because uh, the president's just signed the bill and I don't see any death panels popping up, do you? Uh, and the world is still here. It's not Armageddon. So they have a huge credibility gap on the other side because their story is one that has been fed by the insurance industry that has spent millions and millions of dollars to try and kill this bill. So they got a big problem in terms of having not told the truth. On the other side, as Senator Harkin was talking about earlier, the American people are going to begin to see the benefits of this bill. So if the Republican mantra is going to be repeal this bill, you know, turn back the clock, allow the insurance companies to continue to discriminate against kids based on pre-existing conditions. Yeah. You know, let's take away the money from seniors. Uh, make my day, because it's the same story that they're telling yeah. in other areas. They want to turn back the clock to the Bush economic policies. They and they, they like the status quo. They like business as usual. Congressman, uh, the activities around the Capitol the last few days, people getting arrested, bricks through a window, one of your colleagues being, you know, spit on, uh, the N-word being tossed around, just the, the, the tone of the crowd, the hateful attitude that's out there. Uh, I will take it so far as to say this is really fueled by Fox News, in my opinion. It's fueled by the right-wing talkers of America. Let me ask you, why did Democrats even go on Fox? I mean, they just stir these people up. I mean, why don't, why don't the Democrats, and I'm asking you a serious question here, why send any of your candidates over to be interviewed by anybody on Fox when they wanted to kill this health care reform bill? It's everything negative about President Obama. You're not going to, I mean, you know, in college football, Alabama, football in Alabama is a way of life. At Notre Dame, it's a religion. They don't like each other. You're not going to convince somebody from the Irish to go root for Alabama, vice versa. So why do the Democrats even go on Fox News? It frustrates the hell out of progressives when you do. Well, Ed, look, no one's under any illusions that they're going to change Fox News, that they're going to change the orientation of the channel. Uh, but the fact of the matter is there are many people who watch uh, Fox News who are fair-minded people, and the hope is that maybe you can break through, get a kernel of truth, uh, through the airways That's and communicate theory. with people. That's a well, theory that I you mean, think fair-minded people watch them. I mean, look at the activity of the people. I mean, they stir this stuff up. Beck feeds on this stuff. Limbaugh says, Limbaugh said on his program yesterday, we got to get rid of these bastards. That's what he said, speaking of you and other Democrats. I mean, the, you've got the majority. You've got enough uh, media out there. You don't need them. 
Look, look, Ed, nobody is going on Rush Limbaugh's show. No one's going on Glenn Beck's show. Uh, but there are certain there are certain shows where there are people who haven't totally made up their mind uh, that watch Fox News, and there's an effort to try and communicate with them. But let me just go to your point with respect to the uh, words of incitement. Uh, what we saw in the last couple of days here was a very ugly face in terms of the expressions of violence of the words that were thrown around. But what was even worse than the fact that it was happening outside the Capitol was that certain members of Congress who should have known better and should be leading by example exhibited similar behaviors inside uh, the chamber. Uh, when we had a oh, member, but they Republican apologized member. for that, Chris. I mean, the, yeah, the yeah. Republicans apologized for. It. They didn't mean to say that. No, you know? right, <laughs> right, and that's why within a couple hours, as as you may have heard, that same member who said "baby killer" uh, started a Facebook page to raise money, to raise cash off his statement. And this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with people who or pretending to apologize and turning around and using these words to include to continue to incite people and to raise money uh, and so what we have to do is show the american people the decent minded american people that this has become in many ways the new face of the republican party it is the that's new what face. we're dealing it, it with it is we're, their face Congressman. Is, this is the new face of the republican party that's what you get when you incite yeah. people like this and encourage of that kind of behavior. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight, and, and, and thanks for saying that, because a, a lot of Americans believe that. Thanks so much.